On the second day of lean rips, links were gave to me. I was and lean arms. That is what we're going to work today. And I'm really excited. I've already done a cardio hit this morning. I'm flying to Vancouver and have a crazy, I think I have nine flights in the month of December. So the leanness and doing stuff like this, the 12 minutes of leanness is super important to make sure that every single day I feel energized and I feel good, excited to smash the day. So I'm super excited for day two. Um, this is just gonna, it's gonna be slightly lower tempo than yesterday, but again, it'll get us energized, it'll work the muscles, it'll help us build lean tone muscles. So like I said, we are gonna go with abs and arms, get excited, just do your best. If anything is too tough, do not worry about it. There's always something else we can do and I'll try and talk you through that. Um, so get excited, we're gonna get right into it. We are going to do a minute and a half warm up. That's it, all right? First thing we're gonna do is nice, quick, you can see I got the uh, fire going, my hat on, and that's because the body is gonna be burning. We're gonna go inchworms. Again, if you can't walk all the way out, that is okay, just go far out, hold it for a second, come back out, nice and controlled. You can have a bend in the knees, three, two, one. So here we go, I walk the hands out, out, and back up. Now, you can have a bend in the knees, stretch the hammies out, that's important. We need really, Warm, lengthened hamstrings for whenever we're sprinting, especially. And see how I'm creeping my hands out there? That's gonna engage my core more. I'm gonna work my shoulders, my arms. And again, all those little muscles, that's what really gives us that nice toned, lean look. We got one more rep here. And just stay here. And then just nice and easy. Drive those knees. Up to the side, you see how I'm rocking? We're getting straight into it here. We're already working our core. The fire is hot. And then just rock back. Stretch the calves for a second. We've only got 30 more seconds. And then we're gonna get right into the abs and arms. And then just nice and easy. This is nice and controlled. Up, down, so we're not ripping through it. Just warming up the arms. Good. And then just hold the plank. And again, if we're doing any planking today, which we are, you can do it on your knees here. Just make sure your belly button is pulled towards your spine. Two, one. All right, so that's just a minute and a half. We're not going any longer. If you need to do more of a warm up, definitely do so and then you can follow along as we get going. But you always wanna make sure you're warm. See how my heart rate's already up? That's because we dove straight into it. I know we're not doing a lot of crazy movements, so that's why the warm up was a little shorter today. All right, so first exercise, and we're going 25 seconds, 15 seconds rest, so keep that in mind. A Little more rest than yesterday, a little more work than yesterday. The first one, this is the highest tempo one we're gonna have in our whole set. It's double snap burpee, okay? So my feet come out, up towards my hands, all right? And that's gonna engage the core, work my arms, my shoulders, everything is working, and that's how, like I said, we get that nice lean tone muscle, and we're going relatively quick here. This is the highest tempo exercise of the day, so really push it, get excited. Um, and again, if you want, Slightly elevated is okay. It's a great way to move a little faster, burn a little more, all right? So you can have your hands on the couch, on a little step there, but I'm gonna have mine on the mat for now. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, 25 seconds. So, and make sure you throw your feet nice far back and me at the back. I already feel up my core. Keep going. Remember, we get a little extra rest. Three, two, one. Oh. Wow, all right. Plank with toe taps is up next. So we're gonna hold the plank position. Out, out. Now, if you struggle, just go down to your knees, hold the plank. Don't worry about the taps. Two, one, so. Each tap, I'm squeezing my glute. 
The key on the plank is to try and keep that back flat. Drive your elbows in the ground. You're actually working your arms here, your triceps, and squeeze your glutes too. Really focus on the glutes. Three, two, one. If you have any type of back problems, you want to focus on your glutes. All right, next one is two push-ups, and then we're going to walk our hands in. So it's one, two, up, and back. All right? Three, two, one. So one, two, walk your hands up and back. One, two, hands up. And this is a low impact. One, two, working the core still. Now you can do the push-ups on your knees and then just hop up and walk the hands in. There we go. So everything, when we're always in that long position, make sure our feet go all the way back. Whew, this time we're on our back, flutter kicks. So again, elbow or shoulders just slightly elevated. Soak in that nice fire. Oh, little movements. And again, if you struggle with this, just bring everything in and then work your way out. Everyone is at a different level, which is completely okay. We all gotta start somewhere. The most important bit is getting started, and you're doing exactly that with 12 minutes of lameness. All right, dip. So hopefully, in your house somewhere, mine is gonna be by the toasty fire. You have a little bench. I'm gonna do dips here. So the further out your feet are, the harder it's gonna be. Two, one. So keep those elbows in nice and tight. And then you can bring the feet in. It's all about getting the reps in. When you start to struggle, bring those feet in. You should feel that right in your triceps. Five, three, two, one. Wow. Oh. Nearly there, squads. Nearly there. So we're going side plank, reach through. So as you can see, your arms are probably a little tired. That's because we're really contracting them in all this planking. So again, on this, you're reaching through. You can do it down here, exact same. Or you keep that hip up, reach through. 10 seconds, hip up. Three, two, one. All right, this one's gonna be tough. Slow tempo again. We're going push up and then out and up, okay? Whew. Three. We're coming up to halfway here. So push up, up, down, everything out, and back up. Remember, you can do it on your knees. One more. Woo. Huh. Last exercise of this set. Whoop. Here we go. 10 seconds. I think I bought us accidentally hit a button there. Got a little extra rest. Oh my god, the fire is really burning here. Two, one, here we go. So reach through. The other side, I think. Is a little extra leanness when you reach through. Woo! Just beep and bop and boop. Ah. I've only got to do this one more time. Ah. And then you've got your leanness out. Oh, wow. Oh my gosh. This is amazing what you can accomplish in a short period of time. That's why I always tell squatties something is better than nothing can't do the full session, don't worry about it. A little bit of meat goes a long way too. One, here we go, double snap. So remember, feet nice and far back. Mine are nearly at the end of the mat. Well, I feel it in my arms. 10 seconds. Keep going. Three, 
three, two, one. Oh, wow. So now, I like to think of it as downhill. That would be the toughest one. We got plank with the toe taps, two, one. Squeeze the glutes, remember, core is tight, butt is low, lean level is high. So if you were thinking to, oh, I should start my journey in the new year, you gotta get that out of your mind. The best time to start is today, it's always today. There's always a million things. Guys, like I said, I have nine flights this month. Could easily just give up, but I promise this way, I'm gonna feel way more energized. Two, remember you can drop to the knees for the push-ups. Like I said, there's always an excuse. Whether it's a Christmas party, a birthday, a trip, whatever it is, traveling lots, you really, really gotta focus on making time for yourself. Whether it's just 12 minutes, whether it's 30, whether it's eating healthier, you just get that into your life and I promise you'll enjoy the whoopsies way, way, way more and guilt-free and most importantly, you feel more confident, happier, energized. Two, one. Wow. Yeah. 10 seconds. And we're into dips. All right, so this dip set, this is the last time here. Really focus. I know my arms are burning, but I'm gonna get this one done. Full range. My butt's almost hitting the ground. Elbows in tight. 10 seconds. Whew. You can bring the feet in closer if you're struggling. Three, two, one. Wow. Oh man. Wow. So the good news is that we've done Eight and a half minutes, over eight and a half minutes. The lean news is, got uh, about two minutes to go. Here we go, up, uh, reach through. Woo. Hey, if you smash this today, please, please let me know. Send in a picture, a video. We accept boomerangs, because I think a big thing now is seeing squatties inspire other squatties. And that's the power fitness has, is that wherever you're starting from, you have the ability to inspire someone. Whether it's someone you love, your partner, your mom, your dad, a friend, whatever it is, a person will take notice because, oh, sorry, oh, oh, I got excited. Steps out, push up. Like you said, they'll take notice because you're going to be more energized, happier, and you'll also transform, which is the good news, too. One. Wow. All right. This is the last one of the day. Man, it's hot. Five seconds. Make sure you hydrate lots, too, throughout the holidays. A lot of sodium in the, in the whoopsies. You'll be consuming drinks, so as long as you hydrate lots, get your lean activity, you'll be okay. Last little bit, eight seconds, five, two, one. So, Wow, that was another 12 minutes of Lemus day two. So if you've got these two days done, you should be really proud because 
You got a few more under your belt, break old habits. Like I said, feel better. I can't emphasize enough how much better just a little bit of exercise makes me feel. Now I'm off to Vancouver, so the next day three, Lemus, you'll be seeing me somewhere in Vancouver. I'm gonna make sure I get it done. Cause you guys are holding me accountable. Squatties inspired squatties. Smash today. Have a great December 2nd. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Beep, boo.